Hi guys, I'm Zoe from 190. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show an AFK automatic farm, somewhat AFK, not quite, but almost. What you can do is breed cows and you can shear the sheep and collect all the eggs from the ducks. It'll also cook the cows for you, which will make steak, and it will give you everything that you need, guys. It's pretty epic, very compact. This is my own design, I just... I've seen a lot of designs, so I decided to see what I could come up with on my own, and this is kind of what I came up with. And it's, it might be a little too complex, I'm not sure, but it's pretty fun to do. As you can see, after I breed the cows, I bred the cows, uh, the baby cow will pop out through here in the stream and eventually grow up into an adult and die. And then the process will start all over again. So if you would like to know how to build this AFK automatic farm, it's somewhat AFK, um, let's get started. All you need to do is decide how long you want it and how big you want it. So I'm going to have it about 4x8 long. Again, the reason why I choose 8 is actually because the water flow stops after 8 blocks. So that's given perfect time. So I'm going to use glass for this build so you guys can see straight through it. And it looks pretty cool. I'm going to block the edges off here. This is where the source block will be for the water. So I'm going to put that there. One here and one here. And you'll see the water flow all the way over here, so it's not quite not quite long enough. So let's just add some more blocks and make those columns just a little bit longer. And as you can tell, I probably should have put the hoppers in first, guys. But it's too late, so let's just see if we can do it like this. I just realized we definitely probably should have done the hoppers first. But that's okay, no harm, no foul. Okay, so there we go. This is the eighth block, and as you can see, the water stops right here. Very cool. And make the columns a little bit longer. And now we're going to add... We're going to put holes here for now, okay? Because this is where some hoppers are going to go. So I'm just going to whack those holes in. And we'll come around the front and put two holes in the front and the center. And that's four holes. And then we need a chest. So let's make a double chest underneath the glass. Actually, you know what? Let's make it one more block closer to us. There we go. Let's break these two down so we can add our hoppers into that chest. In two rows, we're going to have it go all the way to the end. So let's put some more here into this. Uh, yes, so I just need a good vantage point. So let's crouch place the hopper right into here and right into there. And let's do that again underneath all the way to the end. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's looking pretty good. We need two more for the very end. Crouch place straight into these hoppers. Okay, let's come around to the top here. And put our hoppers. One here, one here. We're going to actually need every one of these hoppers um, tied into each other like this. So let's crouch place them. Connect right into each other like that all the way down okay so now we can now this is the very front row in the front row we're going to have hoppers coming all the way back down and make that connection right here there we go so let's break that one crouch place it in so they should all connect now let's test it out when you throw something in there it should come into the chest so that's good okay so now we need to put some hoppers here too high. So one there and one there. This is where the chickens are going to sit. We're going to have four of them, so we're going to have two on this side, one there and one there, and another two on the other side, exactly the same. One here and there. Okay, so now we can get out our half slabs, because we're going to want a half slab on the top, one lower than that. So let's go underneath and break this one. That's perfect. So we want four of those on each side, and that's it. You don't have to you can just have it like this, a half slab on each hopper, but for some reason I decided to connect them, but you don't have to connect them, so I'll just break them, but as you can see here, I am connecting them, you don't actually have to do that, but I'm putting these two half slabs down here, one lower, as you can see, so that's where the connections are, I'm breaking these ones, I need to make them lower. Well, this is awkward. We need it one lower so we don't lose our stock because the cows and the sheep will be in these ones. And 
we don't want them fitting through, so we need it a little bit lower. So I'm gonna have to get underneath like that. There we go. So we need a block like that on each column here. So one on the other side as well, like this. And fix that back up. Okay, so this way when I put the cows and the sheep in, they're not going to be able to fit through except for their children. And that's perfect. So let's do the same for this column as well. One low. And one on this side, so they can't fit through. So it's one block high. There we go. And as you can see underneath, each one of those half slabs where the hopper is, I have enough room to fit a chicken. So that's why it's half slab width. So I'm just going to build a wall around it. You don't have to build a wall around it. They're not going to be able to escape. But I like things to be finished. And more even this way. So I'm just going to continue on. We do need a column here for the lava. So if you just follow me, I'm sure we can get through this. Put a block here and here. Okay, so let's put a column here. Column here, here. All the way over so it's too high. And put one here and here. So we have one block to allow the water flow. Now we need some signs and we're going to put the signs all the way from this, well not this block, but this block here all the way to the end. This should keep the lava one block high. So let's get the lava source block and make a source block on every one of them. Like this. And we're done. That's practically the contraption right there. All we need to do now is add the animals. And we're, we're totally finished. So let's get... Well, I'm just going to patch this up to make it look better, but you don't have to do that. It looks a bit even. It looks better now. There we go. Oh, there's a hole. Okay, so... Oh, no, another hole. Okay, guys, so there we go. It's perfect. It looks like it says 18. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, so now I'm going to add my animals. The first ones I think I'll add will be the chicken. So let's come around to the side. As you can see, there is a half slap with missing where we can actually stash that chicken inside there, like so. And we'll do the same on this side. And let's do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So one there and one there. That's four chickens constantly laying eggs. And now we're going to put cows in the back one. And we're going to put sheep in the front one. Because it's going to need a, a, a grass block so that they can grow their wool. So let's break this hopper here and replace it with a grass block. But before we do that, we're going to have to redirect this hopper here. As you can see, it's pointing into where the block will be. We don't want that. We want to get rid of it and quickly replace it by crouch placing straight back into that one. There we go. So now they're all connected, we can put the grass block down like this for the sheep to eat. So let's put our sheep in there and a little sheep will come through just like the cows, the baby sheep and the baby cows will come through here and when they grow older they will die and it will cook their meat. So now you can breed them like this, you breed your cows and you can breed your sheep as well, exactly the same. Meanwhile you don't need to worry about the chickens, they're completely AFK. You only need to worry about breeding them and shearing the sheep. So when I shear the sheep like this, all the wool will come off into the hopper, straight into the chest. So you got everything there, it's completely sufficient, very efficient. You, you might lose two wool here and there, but really, I don't think you'll really lose anything. It's very efficient and it was very easy. It's actually very easy to build. I did it very complex today because I was actually designing this whilst doing the tutorial. I don't usually do that, I usually make it first, then do the tutorial, but today I really wanted just to sort of make it on the spot and see what would happen. So there we go guys, I hope you guys appreciate it and like this video as much as I did. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with the Perth. I'm Sarah from 190.